Las Vegas, a great city born in the desert. During its most vibrant growth, one man watched over it all. Jackie Gon is a true pioneer in the gaming industry. A career built on determination and commitment, qualities rooted in his Nebraska upbringing. Jackie honed his work ethic selling newspapers on the streets of Omaha. As a boy, he learned about gambling, running scratch sheets to the bars and pool rooms that took legitimate horse racing and sports bets. Jackie graduated from Creighton University with a degree in commerce. He had his first glimpse of Las Vegas as a soldier in 1943 and envisioned something great. In 1951, after Nebraska passed a heavy tax ending legal bookmaking, Jackie moved his family to Vegas. He was the typical traditional story of the Nebraska boy who did well, who took everything he learned with his family growing up in Omaha. And when he went to Las Vegas, he put all that to good use and, and was so successful. But he never forgot his ties to Nebraska and he never forgot what he learned in Nebraska. Jackie invested wisely. He built big, invented new games. He hired thousands of employees from diverse backgrounds. And he treated customers and employees like family. In all my years, I've never based a person's worth on color, nationality or religion, the workplace in Las Vegas, where I have been in business for more than 56 years, is a true melting pot. He opened his casinos and recruited um, minorities to work in those casinos before anybody else did. And I think one of the things that I learned about Jackie Gone was that everyone who worked for him was family. It's clear Jackie has always been a family man, guiding his sons, Michael and Jackie Jr. into the business. And he's a role model to his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Lucy Buntain Comine remembers first meeting Jackie and wife Bertie over lunch at the El Cortez. Grandson John stopped by the restaurant. They lit up when he walked in the room and he went over and gave each of them a hug and a kiss and you know said, I love you, Grandpa. And it was just very endearing to watch this exchange uh, between John and his grandparents. What I most remembered was that very sweet affection between John and Jackie. And that confirmed what a wonderful relationship they have. And it made me realize how truly remarkable the Gone family is. In the 1960s, as Jackie was building his Las Vegas empire, students at the University of Nebraska created a place for students of all cultures to meet. The vision was to, uh, to give people a, a, a place where they felt a little more at home in a predominantly white institution. One word, inclusion. Anytime you feel included, you always have some buy-in and you're, and you're more likely to be engaged and you're more likely to graduate. More than three decades later, the existing facility is too small, too far away. A great need emerges. Our campus has more multicultural students, more biracial students. And so with that change in our student profile, there's a need for a multicultural building. The idea so captivated the UNL student body that they put the issue to a vote. A vote went before the students in the, in the uh, ASUN general election, and they overwhelmingly supported a multicultural center to be funded in half by the student body. So it's a fantastic thing for the university. I was, I was really excited with how, um, 
how receptive the student body had been to it. But I like the idea that the students did step up to the plate and say multiculturalism is important to all of us. It will help us with our communication, it will help us to get together, it will help us to be able to start supporting each other's events and getting to know one another and I think that the center itself could be a means of bridging the gap between the students, the faculty and the staff. The students would finance half the construction of a new center adjacent to the Nebraska Union. And then a remarkable gift. The ideals upon which Jackie Gahn built a career, indeed helped build a city, come back to his home state. The Gahn family makes possible a Nebraska dream, the Jackie D. Gahn Multicultural Center. To, to the Gahn family, I just want to say that you're going to impact this campus in a way that few other people ever have. This type of donation makes a facility possible that is unprecedented here at this campus, really. And that's going to set a trend for, for years to come as, as how this campus approaches diversity and education. And that's so important. I just want to say that the entire student body is extremely grateful. And you're going to be remembered here for a long time. Definitely say I thank you. Uh, that's the one thing I can say because they are not only contributing to this future, but the next continued future as well. Well, thank you, number one. And number two, um, the, their, that their donation is going to have a lasting impact on uh, the UNL campus for, for a lot of years to come and will expose a lot of people to a lot of ideas and help a lot of people um, get where they want to go. In the future, when you see greater diversity on campus, when you see more unity amongst the populations, you'll know that you have something to do with that, and that's something that is priceless. And I think it's particularly great that it's named for a person whose professional life demonstrated the value of multiculturalism. Uh, that brings a, a tangible relevance to the facility that uh, students will pick up on. It's great that we can both, both honor Jackie Gahn and hold him up as an example of the, uh, the way that the whole country gets a positive gain from multicultural efforts. You look at someone like Jackie Gahn who has made such a contribution and it's important for us to preserve that legacy, to preserve the story and the history of Jackie Gone. And now that we have the Jackie D. Gone Multicultural Center, the legacy of Jackie Gone will be preserved forever. Students, not only today, but tomorrow, will know about Jackie Gone and the Gone family. As a native Nebraskan, as a man who has always believed in the value of higher education, I am honored to have my name become a lasting part of the University of Nebraska. So it is my hope that the new Jackie D. Gaunt Multicultural Center will provide students a place where they can come together and learn to be respectful of all people. Well, it is nice to know that so many of my friends and family have come together today for the announcement of this new center that bears my name. Thank you and go Huskers.